There are literal hot spots all around Jacksonville. There's a new study by Climate Central, which tracks what's called the Urban Heat Index. It identified several densely populated urban areas around Duval County that are hotter than other spots on Earth. Our News for Jacks teams have been analyzing the impact of these hot spots, and we start with reporter Scott Johnson, who's breaking down that data from the Urban Heat Index. This is the urban heat map that was just released. I want to show you some things on it. More than half a million people live under temperatures that are eight degrees above the average temperature in Jacksonville, but there's some that are even worse. Right around here in downtown, a small section of Arlington and down near the Navy base, you have people living with temperatures that are nine degrees above the average temperature outside. If you stop in downtown Jacksonville, locals like Karen will tell you. And you're out here a lot, is it just hot to be in? Yeah, yeah, I don't stay out here too long. It is very hot. Because there's already no trees out here and there's a lot of concrete and asphalt. With water bottle in hand, Nairobi Gaines will tell you the same thing. It is scorching hot. It is, wow, it's hot out here and you have to stay hydrated and you have to stay in some cool shelter. There's a new study out from a group called Climate Central that will tell you why downtown is so hot. Why is this happening? Just because of people, concrete, what is it? Both, <laughs> both people, concrete. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really in a way an intuitive concept. I think we've all felt it. It's called the Urban Heat Index and looks at the temperature on areas called heat islands. Jacksonville is one. It shows more than half a million people in the River City live with a temperature 7.83 degrees hotter than the rest of the planet. But in the city, it's even worse because it's coming from the buildings, it's coming from the pavement, and like you said, it's coming from the people. Um, buses, cars, everything's generating heat. Air conditioners are spewing heat if you have window air conditioners. So the concentratedness of this in the cities, the density in the cities really raises this up to a whole different level. Here's why. Areas with fewer trees, a lot of people, and a lot of concrete that absorbs heat are frankly hotter. It's an additional eight or nine degrees on what you're hearing. It's, you know, it's going to be a 95 degree day. Well, maybe it's going to feel more like a 100 degree day. Now, Jacksonville is not unique. In fact, we're only the 54th hottest major metro in the U.S. Larger cities like New York and San Francisco sit atop the list. But let's dive deep into Jacksonville. The downtown core is the hottest. Look at this map. Those purple areas are around 9 degrees hotter than average. Around 11,000 people live there. Then there's this map put out by Columbia University. It shows roughly the same thing. Those red areas are the hottest. The biggest swath is north of Church Street in downtown. Brady says this is indicative of a national problem in what are called red line neighborhoods that have higher populations of minorities with older infrastructure or large roads like highways running through, and they tend to be the hottest spots in the city. They did find overwhelmingly that was the case. Why is that? It's really how the, the neighborhoods were developed. It's how much did people, were they able to put in trees, put in parks, things like that, take considerations for the environment around them. The uh, concrete area, the urban area like this, yes. Because small town that I'm in, we don't have this effect. Kind of sweltering right now. It is a little bit, yes. People in these areas will tell you. I'm always sweating and I'm always just, you know, my perspiration level is always high. It's hot. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan's office is responding to this and says that they've done considerable work on heat issues.